Hi students. So today I am going to explain how to verify the law of combination of resistors in series using the meter wedge. So now we have a two resistors, resistor 1 and resistor 2. These two resistors are connected in series. We try to find the combined resistance and compare this resistance with the theoretical value using this meter bridge. So first I will explain the meter bridge is a device to find the unknown resistance. So the meter bridge working based on the principle of balanced Wheatstone bridge. So this is very important question the exam point of view. So meter bridge working based on the principle of balanced Wheatstone bridge. So first I am going to explain the meter bridge di uh, diagram. We have a two gaps. So we have two gaps. This is my gap 1, this is my gap 2. So in the gap 1 we have to connect the unknown resistance R1 and R2 in series. So this is my resistance box, this is going to be your standard resistance R, your known resistance. So now I am going to from this end I am going to connect this with my positive terminal of the battery. From this end I am going to connect this my negative terminal of the battery. And then from the midpoint, I am going to connect with the galvanometer and then high resistance and the jacky. The formula we can explain here R by S is equal to L1 by L2. So, under balanced condition, the galvanometer, when the galvanometer shows the zero deflection, so when you are sliding your jacky from A to D, when you are reaching at point D, the galvanometer shows the zero deflection. When the galvanometer shows zero deflection, the length from here to is said to be L, the remaining length is said to be 100 minus L. Since the distance from A to B is nothing but 1 meter, is nothing but 100 centimeter. So, the distance from here to here is said to be L1 means this is going to be 100 minus L1 centimeter. So, according to your uh, Wheatstone bridge condition, the P by Q ratio equal to R by S. So, R by S equals to L1 by 100 minus L1. So, R is equals to S into L1 100 minus L1. So, using this formula, I am going to prove the combination of resistors. <coughs> okay. First, I am going to start with. So, we have a resistor here. So, we have a resistor 1. Is it denoted? 1. This is my resistor 1. So, and I have a, we have a resistor this is 2. So, first I am going to find the resistance of this separately and the resistance of these two separately. So, first I am going to connect my A with the positive terminal of the battery and B with the negative terminal of the battery, like negative terminal of the battery. So, first A and B connection is over. Okay. Next, uh, this gap is connected with the resistance box. So, this is going to be a variable resistor here. Okay. So, this is going to be the variable resistor. So, we can vary the value of the resistor using this. So, generally they are using the plug keys, but I am using the different resistor. So, if I vary this value, if I vary this value, if I rotate this, it is going to be 10, 20, 30, something like this. So, if I vary this value, it is a multiple of 1 ohm, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it is something like this. So, we have a different, this is my 0 0.1 ohm, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 is something like this. So, this is going to be the variable resistor. I am going to connect this variable resistor with this uh, gap. So, in this gap, I am going to connect my resistor here. So, from the midpoint, I am going to connect with the galvanometer and the, from the galvanometer, I am going to connect this uh, high resistor. From the high resistor, I am going to connect this with the jockey here. Right? Okay. So, first I am going to connect the resistor 1 in this gap. So, my resistor 1 is connected here in this gap. So, now we are going to find the balancing length. So, we are going to switch on so this. If I place my jockey in the towards B, I am getting left side deflection, right, this is my left side deflection. If you place here, it shows the right side deflection in the galvanometer. So, the, gal the circuit is working properly. So, first I am going to fix the 
resistance here i am going to fix is 2 ohm so my s is now 2 ohm so i can simply write here so now my s is going to be 2 ohm right mm. so i am going to place here and i am going to just move oh. till i am getting the null deflection of the galvanometer so at this point i am getting null deflection of the galvanometer so how can i measure the reading so using a scale we can measure so this is approximately 59 centimeter so it's approximately 59 centimeter so i can simply write my length is going to be 59 so 100 minus l1 is going to be 41 right and then what i'm going to do here i'm going to increase my resistance see 1 into 3 so if i increase into 3 now my yes resistance is going to be 3 ohm so for 3 ohm i'm going to measure the again the balancing length so if i'm moving i'm moving observe the galvanometer now so if i'm moving here if i'm moving here listen so at this point i'm getting the null deflection listen so approximately Fifty point one, fifty point five. So my L one is going to be fifty point five. So this value are three ohm. So yes, is fixed. So under minus n we can calculate. So this is going to be forty nine point five centimeters. So L one is also in centimeters. So under minus L one is also in centimeters. So using this formula we can find the R one. So next what I'm going to do here, I'm going to connect the resistor to here so before that you have to switch off the battery and then remove my resistance one remove my resistance one and place here separately and then now i am going to connect my resistor two with this gap so now so the point of contact should be very very important so the connection should be proper And then we have another wire and this wire is connected to this end. So now the resistor 2 is connected to this gap. So resistor 1 is removed, resistor 2 is connected in this gap. So now my resistor 2 is connected in this gap. So again I am going to bring my resistance here into 2 ohm. Okay. So now what I am going to do here, I am going to switch on my battery. Now I am going to move to find the balancing length for the resistor 2. Listen at this point at this length so i'm going to take the scale here to measure the value it's approximately 59.4 okay 59.4 so i can simply write the value here for 2 ohm 59.4 ohm this is going to be 41 point uh, approximately yeah 40 point six right it's going to be 40.6 so this is my balance length l2 this is going to be 100 minus l2 so next i'm going to vary the value 3 ohm for the uh here is yes is changed from 2 to 
3. Now, so now we are going to absorb the reading here. Yeah. So, galameter here, galameter shows the left side deflection. So, my galameter moves, my galameter moves here. So, at this point, I am getting the null deflection here. So, I am going to measure the reading now. So, approximately 50, right? This value is 50. So, now here is going to be 50. So, 100 minus L2 also is going to be 50. So, using this formula, we can calculate the value of R2. So, now what I am going to do here, I am going to connect my resistors, my resistors R1 and R2 in series. This is my R1, this is my R2 in series. So, and then I am going to connect this in the gap 1, okay, in the meter bridge. So, now my resistance Rs is going to be the equivalent resistance is going to be R1 plus R2. So, now we are going to calculate this here. And then we are already find my resistance of L1 separately, resistance of L2 separately, and then we are going to check with this value. So, what I am going to do here, I am going to connect these two. Before that, we are going to switch off the battery. So, listen carefully. So, what we are going to do here, we are going to remove the one end from here. This is my resistor 2. So, from one end of the resistor here is connected here. And then from the another end of the resistor, we are going to connect this here. Okay. So, now So, we have a two resistors are in series. So, one end from here, end of this resistor and then another from this resistor and then this is connected with this gap. So, now these two resistors are in series. So, now I am going to uh, vary my resistance box into 2 ohm, right? It is going to be 2 ohm. So, now I am going to switch on, right? So, now I am going to place my jockey here. See, galameter shows the right side deflection here. Again, I am going to find the balancing length here, right? The balancing length here. The straight line, if you are taking here, it is approximately 73.4. 73.4. So, for 2 ohm of S resistance, so 73.4. So, using th this is my L3, this is a length 3, is a balanced length L3 for the resistance series R1 and R2. So, next I am going to increase my S value 3 ohm now. So, I can increase the resistance 3 ohm and then I am going to find the balancing length. So, this is my balancing length here. So, using this. So, this is approximately 65.5. Okay. 65.5. So, 65.5. So, using these two values, using my L value, we can find the 100 minus L3 and this is 100 minus L3. So, using this formula, we can find my RS. So, the next, uh, using the formula R1 equals to S into L1 by 100 minus L1. So, this is my L1, this is my 100 minus L1 for 2 ohm. This is L1 and L1 minus L1 for 3 ohm. So, if you are substituting these values here, this is my value of R1 here, this is 2.8. So, if you are substituting these two values here, I am getting value of 
3.06. If you take the average of these two values. So in this problem, I am taking two average. At least in the examination, you have to take at least three reading. For 4 ohm also, you have to perform the experiment. So if I take the average value, I am getting 2.9. The resistance of my R1 ohm, right? The next case, uh, for my resistance R2, so this is 2 ohm, this is my L2, 59.4, 100 minus L2 here. So using this formula, R2 equals to S into L2 minus, L2 is my 59.4, 100 minus L2 is my 40.6. If I substituting these two values here, I am getting 2.96. Similarly, we can find using this formula, this is my 3. If you take the mean value here, this is going to be 2.96 ohm. So my R1 is this. My R1 is 2.93, R2 is 2.96. So for by the theory, my RS, resistance of the series combination, R1 plus R2 equals to 2.93 plus 2.96 is going to be 5.89 ohm. So this is from your theory when the two resistors are in series. So using this experiment, using this uh, Metabridge experiment, we found that for 2 ohm of S resistance, we have a balancing length of L3 is 73.4. This is going to be 100 minus L3 is going to be 26.4. So my series resistance is going to be S into L3 by 100 minus L3. So under balance condition, so this is my balancing length, this is my 100 minus balancing length. So using these two values here, we are able to find the value of the series resistor 5.56. Similarly, using for 3 ohm, we get this balancing length. So, we are able to write using this formula 5.69 ohm. If I take the average of these two, I am getting 5.65. So, this is the value of the RS in the uh, by experiment using my meter bridge. So, by the experiment, we have the value of 5.625. So, this is my theoretical value, this is my experimental value. So, there will yeah, be theoretical value is always greater than the exponential value, right? So, do not worry about those things because of your observation, you may miss, you made some mistakes. So, do not worry about the mistakes here. So, if you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for the more content. So, we have a, a separate playlist for the uh, theory videos, right? Electrostatic potential and electric field and chargers and semiconductors. So, is that in the description? I just go and watch our videos. For, thanks for watching. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.